Hey everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks. We've got a great idea for anyone that's having yellow jacket problem. Um, you can set out traps, which I do have some videos on my Barnyard B YouTube channel. But if your yellow jackets are just out of control so much in your area, whether you have farm animals, honeybees, or anything like that, there is a solution to get rid of these things and what you use is you'll use raw chicken for the bait and you cut it up in about the size of a pea and then for every 10 ounces of raw chicken you'll use one quarter teaspoon of what's called onslaught it is a pesticide be very careful with this uh, using it the right way, it can be effective. I advise putting this up in a tree, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it here in a second. I'm going to get this mixed up and also show you that. But the trick is, is to get it up in, the, in a tree on a string, on a rope, where cats, dogs, birds, nothing like that can get in and get to it. Uh, now the little trap I'm going to use, I'll show you here in a minute, we'll put it inside there and I'm going to place this down where I know there's a bunch of yellow jackets. I got some old sugar water that's all over the ground and those yellow jackets are congregated down there really, really bad. Now, uh, they're, they're getting to the point where they're starting to get into my honeybees and that can be a big, big problem. So what, what happens is you can't you can't double this dose either with more pesticide like keep with that ratio 10 ounces of chicken with one quarter teaspoon of onslaught don't go with two uh, don't go with a, a, a half a teaspoon or anything like that because what will happen it'll it'll then it'll be like a repellent to them because they hate pesticides but this is tricking them this is getting them to do this so get you 10 ounces of chicken or if you if you do or 10, I'm sorry, yeah, 10 ounces of chicken. But if you only do half that, then just go with an eighth of a teaspoon. So that's what we got right here is is uh, is five ounces of chicken because I didn't want to make the full batch. And so I'll use an eighth of a, a teaspoon of onslaught and mix it in there. And, and watch here in a second and I'll get it mixed up for you and show you how we mix it. Okay. Okay, here's my... One eighth teaspoon. It's going. To, this is actually a, a quarter teaspoon, but I just put about half the amount in there. So what I do, I just drop it in the bag. Be very careful with this. I'll make sure and I'll clean that off very good. Now the the thing is with this pesticide, the trick is you want them to carry it back to the nest because once they carry it back to the nest, the queen will consume it and. Of course, once the queen dies, the whole colony dies, and plus it'll kill a bunch of workers too. So what you do, you get it in a bag like that, and you just mix it around. All around, mix it really, really good. I got this bag sealed with a little bit too much air in it. So that's all you do basically. You mix it up really good like this, and then we'll get it put in a trap. Okay, what I did... Now you can also use, this was just a, a little trap that we sell at our store at Barnyard Bees. But what I had to do, I had to fabricate a little, well not really fabricate, I just had to take the top off of it. Because the way these are made, they're made like a minute trap. And once bees get in them, they can't get it back out. And the whole purpose of this is so they can get out. Because you want them carrying this bait back to the nest. So, that's the whole idea of this. Now remember, keep this up high where nothing can get to it. And uh, and before anybody starts commenting about uh, harming the honeybees, honeybees will not, absolutely will not be attracted to this. See, there goes yellow jackets in already. Look, there's two going in. I'm just holding it by my hand. They they love that protein source. Uh, that raw chicken is, is about the best bait you can get. It works really good. And uh, don't worry about your honeybees. This will not harm your honeybees. And, and if you're concerned about that, just take it, take it a good distance away from your honeybees if it's a concern, but they will not bother it. Honeybees, 
uh, will not touch this stuff. And this, this sugar water down here is old stagnant sugar water. And the only thing I've seen even remotely close to it is yellow jackets and these big old giant hornets like that one right there. That's the only thing that's coming around this and wasp. The honeybees won't touch it because this sugar water in here is old and stagnant. They won't touch it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang it right up here. And like I said, here in a little bit, I'll give it a little bit of time and I'll come back and I'll show you how many yellow jackets are going in this. Hopefully we can see this on video. The yellow jackets are cutting it up in little tiny pieces and I'm watching them carry it out. I think I started them by coming up on them too much, too fast. But uh, I, I watched two carry out little tiny chunks. And what they'll do, they'll saw that down and take pieces away that they can make. There goes one right there, if you can see it. Maybe it'll show up. It's got it in its mouth right there. There it left. I hope that sh uh, showed up on video. Now, there, I can see another one right there. They're carrying the little chunks away. That means it's working. It's doing good. That's exactly what you want. You want them to pick it up and carry it away. They'll take it to the nest, and it'll very fast kill that colony. It'll kill the queen immediately, and then the colony will, will start eating on it because they're not much of, of wanting to eat it on site. They want to carry it back to their nest. And that's the part of the idea too about not making it too strong because you can kill the yellow jacket before it gets back to the nest. So keep with that mixture. Remember, and I'll put it up in the, in the description as well. And I'll also leave a link to my yellow jacket trap on my barnyard bee video. It, you may be interested see that right there just tore a chunk off. And there it goes. There it went. You can see it in its mandibles or whatever you call it. Uh, yellow jackets this time of year are really bad. Uh, and they can really be devastating on your honeybees, on, especially on weaker colonies. So I can watch, I can see them. It looks like they're carrying it right through the woods. So they probably got a, a nest right over there. So keep with that mixture. One quarter teaspoon of onslaught with 10 ounces of chicken. If you have that dose, do one eighth teaspoon onslaught with with eight ounces of, uh, with a, a five ounces of chicken. So remember that because you don't want them. It, it'll become a, a instead of instead of them being attracted to it, they'll realize that it's something that they will not eat, and it'll become like a repellent to them. And you do not want that. So try this. It works very well. It's like I said, it's safe for your honeybees. Don't worry about it. the biggest thing is keeping it. This is about six feet off the ground, so nothing can reach it. No cat can reach it. Nothing can reach it. Uh, it's up on it. You can even put it up higher if you're more worried about that. So, okay, this thing's been hanging up about an hour now, and they're really, really starting to work this thing pretty heavy. Uh, and one thing I forgot to mention to you if you want to make you a trap, a homemade trap, you can do that with a, a milk jug would work just fine just uh you could uh, put the bait in through the top cut you a few holes in it big enough where they can get in and get out i would make them big enough and make them about an inch across at least and put you about maybe uh three or four holes all the way around it about four holes one on each side and uh just a little ways up from the bottom about probably two inches up from the bottom and then uh it would work fine hang it up and it'll work just like this will that's about it don't forget folks we're trying to spread information on the homestead about farming and different hacks that you can do some things are about cooking and some are just about farming or pest control but don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching homestead hacks